Hey, it's Sheila Social Studies. Hey guys, welcome back to Sheila Social Studies. Okay, so you just finished chapter 26, which is World War II. Now we're about to go into probably um, a time or an era of what really is going to shape uh, the world, uh, the United States the most. And this is what we call post-World War II uh, era into the United States. Uh, we have a former ally that becomes a foe uh, or an enemy or somebody who does not believe what we believe in. And this enemy of ours is going to affect us from the end of World War II all the way into the 1990s with the ending of what we call the Cold War. We have a red scare. We have a fear of a certain type of government uh, post-World War II. And they happen to be, and their government happens to be, the Communist Soviets, the Soviet Union, the guys who were uh, our ally in World War II to fight against Nazi Germany. Now, after uh, World War II, we actually go into what we call the Cold War uh, with the Soviet Union, the Russians. And we call them, we call this a red scare because if you look at that insignia in the center there, you see there's a red star with a yellow or a gold hammer and a sickle. And we call it the Red Scare because basically, I mean, the, the, the color red uh, just, it was on their flag. The Soviet flag was all red within the corner and they had that uh, that insignia of the hammer and the sickle. Uh, just red We uh, was everything bad. Uh, and I remember when I was a young kid, it was always the good guys and the bad guys. And we were being outside playing, you know, uh, like... Uh, fighting against each other it was always like oh, i'm the americans and, and you're the soviets you're the communists right so i mean it really had a way of affecting everybody from the top to the bottom we're going to cover the spread of communism we're going to cover uh the korean war ultimately we'll cover the vietnam war uh and the cold war the cold war goes from about 1945 to 1990. So that's what we're getting ourselves into here. World War II has ended, Europe is destroyed, and we really have two superpowers emerging from the end of World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union.